going to switch it up a little bit on you guys, and we're going to go for a most overrated draft prospect. So these are the guys you want your team to stay away from, in, in my opinion, at least in the first round. Um, so yeah. So the first most overrated draft prospect in this year's 2020 NFL draft is Makai Becton. Okay. He's too big. All right. He's like 6'6", like 385. He's got really slow feet. Listen, like, when, when you're looking for offensive linemen, a lot of people just look at numbers on a page. They'll be like, oh, he's gigantic. He's going to be great. No, it's not always about just bigness. When you're a tackle, you have to be fast. You're on an island with some fast, like, athletes coming off the edge. Like, defensive ends aren't big and slow. They will run around you in a heartbeat. He's, you know... He's he's got to be able to block on the island, and he really hasn't consistently been shown to do that. Plus, scouts are coming out and saying that he loves food too much, so he might eat his way out of the NFL just like Eddie Lacy. So, if I was a team, I would not go after Makai Becton super high overall. The next person who I think is super overrated, DeAndre Swift. Okay, Georgia had the best offensive line in the SEC. Okay. DeAndre Swift was a product of the offensive line. I don't care what running back you are. If, if you're at Georgia, if you're mediocre, you're going to rush for 1,000 yards at Georgia, okay? In my opinion, Jonathan Taylor and J.K. Dobbins, Dobbins are both better than Swift. And Jonathan Taylor is way better than Swift. And I think if you put DeAndre Swift at a higher grade than John, Jonathan Taylor, I think you're insane and you must not be watching film. So I, I just don't think DeAndre Swift is it. I do not think he's worthy of a top 15 overall pick, and I definitely think he's overrated with most of the people. Next overrated player, Brandon Ayuk, okay? Here's the problem with this guy. He's small, and he's slow, okay? If you're small, you can still play in the NFL as long as you're fast, right? Example, Tyreek Hill. Here's the I've, I've watched the film on this guy. I've tried to change my mind. I just don't think he's that good. He's not going to end up being that good at all. People have, you know, a low first round grade on this guy, a really high second round grade. I wouldn't take him to the third round, okay? If you look at all his punt return, like highlights and stuff like that, just look at the defense, okay? The defense just falls apart. Like, he doesn't really make any crazy moves or anything like that. I think Brendan Ayuk would not be a good investment in the first or second round. And I think, I mean, you might pick him in the third or, you know, fourth if he falls that far, but uh, I just don't see it with Brandon Ayuk. The next big overrated guy that we think um is very overrated is christian fulton okay i could care less how athletic you are if you get beat over and over and over again okay i i, I really don't care you could be six eight three hundred pounds and run a four two forty yard dash if you get beat over and over and over again there's a problem okay there are two cornerbacks Two or three cornerbacks, actually three cornerbacks better than him that I'd take in a heartbeat over him. Um, definitely CJ Henderson. I'd take Jeff Okuda, and I would definitely take Jeff Gladney over Christian Fulton. Okay, he's athletic. They say LSU's DBU. I don't see it in Fulton. Okay, maybe that's just me, but I don't know. But that's kind of the big guys that I think are overrated. All right, but thank you guys so much for watch for watching. We love y'all very much, and we're gonna be doing an underrated video, and yeah, we'll continue the free agency recaps. Adios.